Can you hear it? Hey, what's going on, Southside Expo? How y'all doing? Yes, I brought the chingos of kids. I did not know that there was a capacity in here. I love it. We walked in and we saw the kids saw the candies and I'm like, we're never gonna make it past the front door. <laughs> I don't know how y'all expected this to work. Um, so I know Gabriela said, um, you know, there are entrepreneurs who don't sell tangible things. I'm tangible. <laughs> you know, if you pay extra, you can touch me after the show. Ah! <laughs> I'm just kidding. There's children here. And they're getting their caricatures. <laughs> I did. I knew I was about to come up. I said, hey, kids, go get your cartoon faces done. I don't want you to look at mommy right now. <laughs> Hi, baby. How are you? <laughs> Those are my three adorable children. Aren't they beautiful? Yes. Yes, there's Lola. Lola, raise your hand. Lola's my oldest. Then I have Mia, my middle child, the one that gets forgotten. I'm sorry. I love you, baby. And then, <laughs> then there's the baby, Valentina. <laughs> They love that. They're like, oh my God, we're famous. <laughs> yes. Oh, hi. Oh, more children. Hey, this got to be PG 13. Hi, kids. Welcome to the Southside Expo. Yes. Get your cartoonies done. Um, I can't stand caricatures, honestly, because it just reminds me of like kids' art. You know, when your kids do artwork of you, like, what's the shelf life on kids' art? Like, are you a butthole parent if you immediately want to throw that stuff away? <laughs> you know, you feel guilty, right? <laughs> you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, every day they come home with like, my daughter came home with a plate full of cotton balls. I'm like, what is this? It's a snowman, mommy. I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> or I, I went to an art contest for my daughters and everybody was like, oh, look, all the kids painted pictures of the families. And I'm like, they're three. What are we really expecting? But sure enough, here's my daughter, my three-year-old, super talented. She does a picture and you know, all the stick figures are there. And then I noticed that my stick figure, I have two heads. Everyone else has one head. Why do I have two heads? I'm like, Teeny, why do I have two heads? She's like, well, I drew your face and then I drew the extra face. That's under your first face, mommy. I guess art is subjective. <laughs> Thanks a lot, baby. I'm all crying. <laughs> I love it. I want to take it home and put it on the fridge. No, but do we have any parents in the house? Where are my parents at? Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. Y'all are here trying to better yourself. He's got to pay for them expensive ass kids, don't you? That's right. That's right. They are gorgeous and they're fun, but they suck the life out of you. Okay? So all of you here are trying to better yourselves and I, people are giving away grants and I see, I see city council, I see the Honorable Lucy. Hey Lucy, you love me, I love you too. I, when I saw her name and she had the title Honorable in front, I was like, so if she's the Honorable Lucy, then am I the deplorable Michelle? <laughs> Girl, I ain't honorable, I, uh, tangible, we covered that. Not honorable. <laughs> you can tell she's honorable. Look at what she's wearing. I, she walked in and I was like, that's not even a coat. She's wearing a cape. She got a damn cape coat on. That's fancy. You know, you can tell people are fancy when they don't wear color. They wear like beiges and nudes. Those are fancy people. We, Mr. Where's Mr. Terry? You see him? He's just all in beige. I'm like, that's how you know I've made it when I just wear nudes. So clearly I'm wearing, I'm like a banana. So I ain't rich. I haven't made it yet. <laughs> If you see me super color, I'm like, I'm poor. I need support from the various city council members. But trust me, when I get my Netflix special, I'm gonna be all beige. I'm just gonna look like a giant nude stick. And you'll be like, hey, she made it. <laughs> She's fancy. Oh, guys, I'm so happy to be here. I can't tell you how excited I am. Give it up for everybody with Southside First who put this together. Really, I think y'all underestimate. Next time, y'all are gonna have a bigger space because clearly someone's having a quinceanera or something next door. I feel bad. I was trying to listen to Mr. Terry and I was like, da, 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 da. I was like, hey, come down, come down, come down. I was like, I gotta pay attention so I get a free milkshake later. <laughs> Mr. Terry, where did you go? He added all his milkshakes and he was like, see ya. <laughs> 
But really, give it up for him, 1.6 million donated. That's amazing. That's amazing. He's given back, you know, and he's developed something. He's created something. I've created a slogan. That's all I've done. <laughs> I created big chocha energy. <laughs> and for those of you who don't speak Spanish, okay, wait, let me see if I don't have to translate. Is there anyone who doesn't know what a chocha is? Oh, everybody. <laughs> the honorable, hey, honorable, you're not supposed to know. Hijo abuela knows in the back. Is chocha on Duolingo? Is that part of the translation now? <laughs> but I, so listen, I created Big Chocha Energy essentially to be an antithesis, antithesis to BDE, Big mm -hmm, Energy. And especially in comedy because comedy is a very male dominated space. So I was tired of comedians, male comedians talking about the same thing, talking about their whatever, you know, there's children here. We covered that. What's up, UTSA? Woo, woo, woo! Thank you again, UTSA in the back, business development. I see you. Look, she's like, I don't want to be in the chocha part of the skit. Don't, <laughs> don't talk to me right now. No, but really, so <laughs> part of my journey about being an entrepreneur, I, I, honestly, I, you guys talk to, you guys talk about like first to market, right? Like you guys talk about having that new idea. Um, I think even Mr. Terry, he was like, you got to create an itch. I was like, that's the first time I heard a man say that, and that was a good thing. <laughs> you gotta create an itch, girl. I was like, I'm tangible. I'll create an itch for you, baby. I'll create. <laughs> I'm creating an itch right now. <laughs> but no, so I, I thought, okay, so not only is it hard to be a comedian because it's a male dominated space, it's hard for women, but also, you know, when we talk about the wage gap or we talk about having access to resources, there's no HR in comedy. Who am I supposed to talk to when someone harasses me? Did you see the way that guy put the mic right here in my pocket? He's like, let me put it right here. I said, hey, I'm married, sir. My husband's right over there. Hi, baby, I love you. I Burbank, woo, 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 woo. That's right, baby. So I may not have been in the South Side, but the South Side's been in me. Whoa, wait, wait, that. <laughs> I'm not come out right. I love the South Side, that's what I'm trying to say. 19 years with the same man. I love you, baby. Woo. Ah, she looks all young, child bride. <laughs> no, but <laughs> back to the business portion of my speech. So I think it's important to find a space, find that, find that niche, find that itch, right? Like what's going to create that need that people in the community want to hear. And the other thing too is I don't see a ton of Latina comedians. I don't see a ton of representation from San Antonio. I don't hear about people who talk about how they grew up, growing up here and the things that they experienced. I don't see a lot of gorditas comedians in general, right? For a man, you could be plus size and so it's fine. But for a woman, you gotta be all, you gotta be all flaca. You gotta be like honorable with the cape coat. I wanna be like that city council table where I'm like, I'm giving you information. She's giving away diabetes information, but she's got Snickers on her table. <laughs> Look at her, she's like, oh, girl, you caught me, girl. You caught me. <laughs> as soon as I walk in, I got two big ass cookies. I was like, y'all trying to kill me. <laughs> y'all know half of us in here pre-diabetic, girl. Thank you for your service, sir. Aye, the Navy man walked in. Hey, hey, poppy, yes, get your sign in. Oh, I like a man in uniform. I'm just kidding, baby, I love you. <laughs> No, I've been, I've been with the same man for 19 years. Um, give it up for my husband, proud Burbank Bulldog, proud representation for the South Side. I love him. I f and I feel bad for him because when I walked in, people were like, oh, it's the Cantu family. And I was like, ooh, that's not his last name. Uh, haven't changed it. I'm one of them's feminists. I haven't done it. And he hates it. He hates it because, you know, my, my kids are, I did. All my kids are Rodriguez like him. I just feel like there's already a famous Michelle Rodriguez. Y'all know, y'all know Michelle Rodriguez from SWAT, right? From Fast and the Furious. Look at her. She raised her hand. She's like, oh, I know her. I know. You, you, she's your friend, right? I know. I know. But there's already a famous Michelle Rodriguez. And so I'm like, if you look at my husband, you can see he's pelon, right? So he looks like a chubby Vin Diesel. 
So if you put us together, we're like the bootleg version of Fast and the Furious. You know, the one that you'll get at the Pulga? <laughs> Fast and Furious 26 con diabetes. Like, what the hell? 26? It's not even Fast and Furious. It's slow and mildly agitated. But anyways, guys, um, so listen, I, I also, on the side, um, I do work with the uh, Chamber of Commerce. I work with the Alex Bresenio Leadership Development Program. Um, I work with the Lyft Fund, so I know how important it is to provide resources to the community. I am an entrepreneur. I have to, it's not just about writing jokes and making y'all laugh. I have to be on social media. I have to travel. Um, it's important to have your family here. Are there any families? I, I know. <laughs> I know somebody brought their mom, their dad, their daughter, their... I mean, talk about needing support, girl. You gotta let that security blanket go. Y'all need the whole damn family of I saw, I saw Rosanna's daughter, and I was like, E, your mom made you come, right? <laughs> she's like, no, she's volunteering. She loves me. I'm like, mm. <laughs> But it's important, because the South Side, we are a family, are we not? We are a community that supports each other, do we not? Yes, we do. Look at all of y'all people in here. I'm telling you, a building inspector is going to come by. I already called him. I was like, hey, <laughs> there's no HR and comedy, but I need to report this shit. <laughs> there's too many people in here. <laughs> but, but it's because you guys care about your community, right? And you want to see everybody rise together. It's like having, I mean, it's like, it's like having the cheat codes. I remember growing up, and it was like having a tutor was lame. Getting help, you were seen as like weak or something. Growing up, it was like, oh, you need help with your test? What's wrong with you? Why you need help? You need a tutor? Uh, really? But now, now it's like the fancy kids have tutors. Now getting help is like, that's rich people stuff. I'm like, no, it's not. It's just about having awareness and having access. And that is what Southside First has created for all of us today. And thank you to all the amazing volunteers who have come out here to lift up the South Side. And if I can do just one small part and make y'all laugh this morning as I'll get your resources, then I have done my job. So please follow me on social media. Help me continue to grow. Come out and see a show. I've been traveling all over. Thanks to my community, I was able to go to the Laugh Factory in Chicago. I'm talking, I walked on the same stage that George Lopez, Richard Pryor, like amazing people. I was in that space and I did it in my first year as a stand-up comedian. So please follow me, you guys. If you, if you, like, what you, see, if you like what you see, I'm tangible. <laughs> my name is Michelle Cantu, future Rodriguez Mimi, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> I mean, it's only been 19 years, <laughs> another 19, and maybe for sure I'll know, for sure, for sure. <laughs> but thank you guys so much. Thank you for having me again. Give it up to Southside First.